We're ready to go. The first main event of 2014. Anderson picking up where he left off in his heat race. He's got the lead. Seeley's coming after him, and Osborne's up in that mix. So is Malcolm Stewart on the 34. Wilson right there in third, but he's got a lot of company as the 34 comes slamming up the inside. That's Malcolm Stewart. Seeley is all over Anderson. Yeah, I mean, he's so cool to watch. Look, look how fast he is oh. right here. There he goes. There you go. Right oh. on the inside. Not close enough, but he gets a good drive off the corner. But Anderson fights off. Closes the door on him. Sure did. Wow. Well, Anderson's going to leave that lap. Look at this. Here comes Seeley trying oh. to work that inside. Cuts across the track as they yeah. go to the woods. And look, Anderson, he gets to the inside. Oh, oh. Seeley. The rear oh. tire breaks oh. loose on Seeley, and he can't get it done. Save. He might have to pass me. Nope. Well, he would have had him if he had not lost that traction. Meanwhile, Wilson and Stewart start to tweak up their battle for third, and we've got a new leader. Seeley is out in front of Anaheim. But it's been a long time since Steve Wilson has been able to ride Supercross. That's right. And you got to think he's got to get this under his belt here, get this one main event. I know that he trains hard and all this, but. Got a, it looks like to me right now, Osborne's got a little more intensity. Ooh, well, yes, he does. Uh -oh. And he turned it up big time right this there. This ain't going to be good. And Wilson's going to run him right up to the blocks. That oh, look close. at this. Here Back to the inside. Inside oh, with the run, but he uh, just pushes it wide. No contact there. there he goes what again. will Wilson do here? Oh, and he cuts inside of him. Another this is going to get hot here in a second. This is not going to end pretty. Oh. There's it's going to be fun what to was watch. Coming. It's it's going to be fun to watch, but it ain't going to end pretty. And here comes Anderson. Oh. He's right there. He goes right into him. Takes out the front and takes the lead away. Oh, and Seeley tries to respond, and the win goes to Anderson. He timed it absolutely perfect. Yeah, I did see the pass available. I just had to push it really hard that last lap. But, um, you know, every guy's fast, so it's kind of hard to make up time that quick. But um, Lappers kind of helped me out, and um, I went in for the pass. I don't like to be dirty like that, but, you know, it's for the win. So that's what I had to do. So I'm just pumped that I can put my new KTM and uh, my Rockstar Energy Racing team and One Industries up, represent them on the box, and uh, on top is awesome. 250s from Phoenix. Let's drop the game. Look at that. Just like that, Cooper Webb out into the early lead, but look at all those guys coming after him, including Anderson and Seeley trying to get in there as well. Misses the triple. Oh, oh and Anderson's going to take advantage, and so Seeley, and you got a new leader. Here comes Webb. Cooper trying to get in there as well, see if he can get another position. Thanks. And in that fight is Osborne on the 16. Things starting to happen a little quick here for McElrath. He's got some serious company behind him with a rookie and a veteran who have been really fast all night. Let's see where gets Webb. aggressive. Oh, oh, he goes right into They both go down, and Osborne goes by. White flags out. We're going to go right back to that triple section. Two turns from the end. You land off the triple to do the three. Oh, mistake by Seeley. Here comes Anderson. Again, you got to run every lap clean. This is the final one. Now Seeley knows that Anderson's on it. OK, you land off the big triple. You have to go wide and leave the inside open in the second to the last turn. Here's Anderson. No contact this time, and he's passed him again. He did it to him again on the last lap. OK, but can Seeley use that line to his advantage and return the favor? And how aggressive will he be again. about it? Here we go. He's close right here. He's right there. Right. Can't get to him. And the left rider will oh. come into play. And Seeley makes a mistake. And that's going to do it. And Anderson is going to yank the rug out from underneath Seeley. Two weeks in a row. Checkered flag. Anderson does it again. Seeley with the whole shot, one rider down. It looks like it might have been the 35 of Hill. 
Anderson gets pushed wide and shuffled back to about seven. Cooper Webb runs in second. There's Hill. Good to see him up and back on his bike. And Seeley back where he's been in the early stages of the season. Out front. Here comes Anderson on that 17. Working with Malcolm Stewart on the 34. Anderson pushing hard. Is he going to go to the inside here? Oh, yes. And he makes it very clean as he gets around Stewart. Fight for second. Ricky starting to build some momentum here. Cooper Webb on the 37. Anderson on the 17 has closed in. That's the fight for position. Here comes Anderson. Boy, did he get through the whoops good. But before that, that triple, triple before the whoops, he's nailing that. Anderson, second place is his. Dude, this guy. That was easy enough right there. I'm telling you right now, this guy is on the gas. Well, this is the part that's been the trickiest for Cole Seeley. The last lap. He's got to just put it all together. The first two races of the year, he's led more laps than anybody, but halfway through the final lap, he's lost the lead twice. Here he comes. <laughs> yeah. He's done it. Sealy puts it all together. And finally, the checkered flag is his. We just knew exactly uh, exactly what we needed in the main to throw down some laps. And uh, felt good to finally have a little bit of breathing room on that last lap. 250 main. Wilson oh. trying to get the whole shot. He's got it. His teammates on the inside going to take it away. Wilson tries to get around the outside, but it's Hill with the early lead now. And Osborne yeah, look trying at to that. get in there to fight with him on the Honda. And then Anderson's there on the 17. And Seeley and Cooper Webb. Anderson, here he comes. Hill fighting right back. Oh, oh. banging his way through the rhythm section. Takes him high. Dean Wilson goes for Ooh. second. Dean's going to have to check up here, and he does. Nice move by Wilson. Oh, we got a scrap going on here in Oakland tonight in the 250s. Oh. And Anderson finds himself in third with a bobble. Wilson. Anderson triples into the corner, cases it. Now Look at this. Dean goes Woo. after his teammate. Oh. Returns to favor. And Anderson comes after Hill. He's got second now. Okay, guys, uh, back to the lead here. Hey, one lap to go. The lead at the finish line was 1.8 seconds, and we know what Anderson is all about on the final lap, and Wilson's starting to hit a little. Oh, oh no! What? He has a huge problem, and there goes Anderson. Unbelievable. It happens again. And Wilson trying to battle back as quick as he can. And Wilson is charging. He's got to get aggressive here. Extremely aggressive. And wow. it's not going to be enough. Anderson does it again on the final lap. Three wow. out of four races in 2014 have been won by Anderson on the final half a lap. Here we go. Keep your eyes on the first corner. Gets in and out of there first. Wilson's going to come out second, and that looked like Tedder third, and then he gets, uh, might have dropped back. No, Tedder Hill. Third. Is it Hill up in there? No, it is. You're right. There's Tedder, and there's the 66 in there as well of Canada with a great start. Here's a fight for position. This is Anderson and Stewart scrapping over third. Anderson takes Malcolm to the top. Cooper Webb joins them. We got three riders in this mix. Whoa! Stewart wow. gets wow. inside and just sends Anderson flying. The crowd's into this fight. They want to see some action here. Here it comes. Look at this. Oh, nice clean pass clean goes right by him. Boy, he cut down so hard in that berm. So that is for sixth. Well, here it is. What did I say about the lapped riders? Looks like Seeley gets through clean all by himself. Oh, this is on him. He goes down and tucks the front wheel with the lead. 
Wow. Oh, and look at Wilson. Wilson goes right to the top. Oh, he's got a nice, comfortable lead. Yeah, well, he had a pretty good lead a week ago. <laughs> The way this year's going, I wouldn't count until I see the checkers. There they are! It's just odd, like, you'd think I won the championship, I was so happy, you know? Like, when I crossed that finish line, I just, I just bu burst into tears, you know? Like, it's just been a really tough struggle for me, and, um, and, uh, I'm just so happy. Here we go, gate drop time! Pushing wide off into the grass, and Dean Wilson comes out with the early lead. He would be done. Oh, Wilson is down. Wilson crashes out of the lead. Watch Wilson here. Okay, now this is the last turn. He's going to go outside and double, triple. Makes a mistake, clips a tough block, oh. goes over the bars and really plowed in. And I think you're right, Jeremy, because we noticed just before we went to the replay, the front wheel would stop spinning over that big double. So that's going to be props for him to even finish this main event. So guess who's leading? Justin Hill on the 35. And Wilson going again. Wilson oh. scored in 22nd, timing and scoring three laps down. Three laps down, Corban, he's he's shown in 21st, he's out. So if Wilson can work his way into a 20th, a 19th, that's when he'll start picking up some more points. You're, you are awarded one for 20th through 22nd. Well, he's got about a four second lead over Anderson, so pulling away from the rider that has been so dominant this year. Well, as Just he said, a 48 five. As he said in that quote, Jeff, he believes not only that he belongs here, but that he can pull away from these guys, and he's doing it. It will be the highs and lows of the sport at the Pro Circuit team nice. for the next eight weeks for the West guys. Checkered flag awaits his first career win for Justin Hill. Yes, he gets it done, and Big Brother rode with him all the way. Oh, man, that was nice, too. Dominating fashion. Very nice. I've been working a lot. Uh, my team's been behind me 100%. And yeah, I, I did think I'd be a little bit more like emotional at this point. But you know, I just I just think it's because it's been long overdue. You know, I've been feeling so good for so long. So, um, hey, we got it done tonight. See the 619 having some problems getting the bike started. We're off and racing to the first corner. And it's going to be the 50 getting the jump. Nelson Anderson's right there with him. Justin Hill in third, followed by Wilson. It's going to be a battle to see which Kawasaki rider gets that spot. Watch it from the KTM Skycam. And Anderson trying to jump out front and disappear. Where is Seeley? Look how close Wilson is right now. And a lot more traffic to weed their way through, too. So Wilson might get a shot at Anderson here. One to go. What can Dean Wilson do? On the green pro circuit, Kawasaki. He gets through the lap traffic too. He's charging hard. Keep your eyes on Wilson here on the 15. He's right there now. Oh, we got a good battle going here for this one. Into the whoop section. And Wilson's making up a lot of time. And I tell you what, guys, that final whoop section before the finish line, Wilson is so fast through there. Possibly, could he pass for the win? Here he goes, he takes the opposite lane, gains a little more ground, and this big Houston crowd comes to their feet once again to watch the final lap here of the 250 West Championship. He's got to get closer than this, guys. He's got to get close, going to the inside. Look at that. And more traffic. And another whoop section, not going to get it done. Checker flag, Anderson has another win and a bigger points lead in the 250 West Championship. Here we go, gate drop, 250 West. Oh, look at this. Wilson going for the whole shot. Seeley right there with him. How about Cole Seeley? He is a gamer when it comes to getting it together for the main event. Well, and he's the one that's right behind Anderson in the points. I want to say he's back about six. Woo! Here comes Seeley. Wilson goes wide there in that finish line turn, almost gets into the tough blocks. Uh, oh, Wilson uh, 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 uh. skidding right into the backside of him. Wilson he had almost him locked up, didn't he? Almost cost it himself right there. Look at that, going for the triple, size that. Oh, oh, man, that hurt and slowed him down.
but didn't look. So he cased that double coming across the first turn, and he's he's right there on Wilson again. Oh, Wilson's down. Man. Wilson goes down, and everybody's going by, including Nelson. Oh. Anderson outside, guns it around Hill, takes the spot away, and now it's on. Anderson had a fast oh. lap. Oh. Anderson. Oh. Anderson goes down, and that will greatly change things. Think ahead now towards Vegas and see if you can make that night a little bit easier. There they are, just like that. With two uh -oh. laps to go, uh -oh. Anderson gets those two points back. With Monster Energy Supercross, anything can happen. And, and it's happened to Cole Seeley. You know, maybe the momentum shift turned back around for him, but nice win tonight. Second win of 2014 for Cole Seeley. And Anderson will finish in second. 250 Supercross West Main Event Championship on the line. And it looks like Webb going for the whole shot. Wilson up along the tuck blocks. Where are the championship contenders? Let's see all the yellow. That's the Troy Lee Honda bikes. That's where we're going to see Cole Seeley. As we watch Anderson trying to get around Osborne, see if he can oh. pick that point back up. Cuts inside into that super fast section over the ski jump. There's that one point back. Watch this whoop section here. Wilson so fast through the whoops. He's right on Webb, and a slower rider in front of them. And we've got oh, a battle up. for the lead. Here goes Wilson, wow. trying to get inside, and that brings the Vegas crowd to their feet. Here we go, into the whoops again. Dragons back in front of him, and there goes Dean over the finish line jump. Oh, oh and he cuts close. him off and takes the lead away. Let's see if Wilson can get to the, I'm oh, sorry, Webb on the inside. Not close enough. Wilson cuts him off in the corner, gets him at the next one, way to the outside. Drag racing to the ski jump. Wilson cuts him off. Watch Webb to the inside. Going to go right in and cut the line. His final West Coast race of his career, so I think he wants to go out on uh, go out on top and uh, and just kind of put an exclamation mark that uh, you know I think he really wanted to win this title and was probably a title favorite coming into it, but just things didn't fall his way and uh, here he is going for the lead. So uh, yeah, hope it's. But what a race, man. Cooper Webb's going for it. It's working out great for Dean Wilson right now as he retakes the lead. Uh -oh. Webb's going to make a run here. Here he comes! And that crowd is getting into it. Wilson looks over his shoulder. He knew something was changing behind him. They got a slower rider in front of him. Well, they split the lappers. Let's see. Oh, Webb has to check up it's a little bit. That's going to be the difference, I think, right there. Final whoop section. Here we go. Dean Wilson going for win number two in 2014. He's oh, starting yeah. to celebrate the 2014 Monster Energy 250 West Championship to Anderson in Vegas. It's surreal, you know, there's uh, everyone on that line out there dedicates their life to uh, to this sport, you know, and um, very few be are able to hold up this number one plate. And um, all the work I put in with my whole team, you know, this is uh, my family, all my supporters, my team Rockstar Energy Racing, this is for them. And um, I'm just beyond excited and I'm just happy, you know, this is a great accomplishment for me.